A reading out of the Book of Sirach, Chapter 3 Hear me, your father, O children, and do accordingly, that you may be safe. For Yahuwah has given the father esteem over the children and has confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoever esteems his father makes an atonement for his sins. And he who esteems his mother is as one who stores up treasure. Whoever esteems his father shall have joy from his own children, and when he makes his prayer, he shall be heard. He who esteems his father shall have a long life, and he who is obedient to Yahuwah shall be a comfort to his mother. He who reveres Yahuwah shall esteem his father and shall do service unto his parents as to his masters. Esteem your father and mother both in word and deed, that a baracha may come upon you from them. For the baracha of the father establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother roots out foundations. Do not rejoice in the shame of your father, for your father's shame is no esteem unto you. For the esteem of a man is from the esteem of his father, and a mother in shame is a reproach to the children. My son, help your father in his age, and do not grieve him as long as he lives. And if his understanding fails, have patience with him, and do not despise him when you are in your full strength. For the relief for your father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sin it shall be added to build you up, in the day of your affliction it shall be remembered. Your sins also shall melt away as the ice in the fair warm weather. He who forsakes his father is as a blasphemer, and he who displeases his mother is cursed of Elohim. My son, go on with your business in meekness, so you shall be beloved of he who approves. The greater you are, the more you humble yourself, and you shall find favor before Yahuwah. Many are in high places and of name, but mysteries are revealed to the meek. For the power of Yahuwah is great, and he is esteemed by the lowly. Do not search out that which is too hard for you, neither seek that which is above your strength. But what is commanded, think upon this with reverence, for it is not necessary for you to see with your eyes that which is secret. Do not be curious in unnecessary matters, for more is revealed to you than men understand. For many are deceived by their own worthless opinion, and evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Without eyes there is no light. Do not profess the knowledge which you do not have. A stubborn heart shall suffer evil in the end, and he who loves danger shall perish in it. A hard heart shall be loaded with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness has taken root in him. The heart of the clever shall understand a parable, and an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. Water shall quench a flaming fire, and kind deeds make an atonement for sins. And he who repays good deeds remembers that which may come after, and when he falls, he shall find a support. Chapter 4 My son, do not rob the poor of his living, and do not allow the needy eyes to wait long. Do not make a hungry being sorrowful, neither provoke a man in his distress. Do not add more trouble to a heart that is tortured, and do not delay to give to he who is in need. Do not reject the supplication of the afflicted, neither turn away your face from a poor man. Do not turn away your eye from the needy, and give him no occasion to curse you, for if he curses you in the bitterness of his being, his prayer shall be heard by he who made him. Earn for yourself the love of the assembly, and bow your head to a great man. Let it not grieve you to bend your ear to the poor, and give him a friendly answer with meekness. Deliver he who suffers wrong from the hand of the oppressor, and do not be faint-hearted when you sit in judgment. 
be as a father to the fatherless and like a husband to their mother. So you shall be as the bane of the Most High, and he shall love you more than your mother does. Wisdom exalts her children and lays hold of those who seek her. He who loves her loves Chai, and those who seek her early shall be filled with joy. He who holds her fast shall inherit esteem, and wherever she enters, Yahuwah shall barach. Those who serve her serve the Kadosh One, and those who love her, Yahuwah loves. Whoever gives ear to her shall judge the nations, and he who attends to her shall dwell securely. If a man commits himself to her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. For at first she shall walk by him in crooked ways, and bring fear and dread upon him, and punish him with her discipline, until she may trust his being and try him by her laws. Then she shall return him to the straight way, and comfort him, and show him her secrets. But if he goes wrong, she shall forsake him, and give him over to his own ruin. Watch for opportunity, and beware of evil, and do not be ashamed when it concerns your being. For there is shame that brings sin, and there is shame which is esteem and favor. Do not show partiality against your being, and do not let the fear of any man cause you to fall, and do not refrain to speak when there is occasion to do good, and do not hide your wisdom in her loveliness. For by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. By no means speak against the truth, but be ashamed of the straying of your ignorance. Do not be ashamed to confess your sins, and do not force the course of the river. Do not make yourself a servant to a foolish man, neither show partiality to the mighty. Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahuwah shall fight for you. Do not be hasty with your tongue, or slack and negligent in your deeds. Do not be as a lion in your house, nor wrath among your servants. Do not let your hand be stretched out to receive, and closed when you should repay. Chapter 5 Do not lay your heart upon your goods, and do not say, I have enough for my life. Do not follow your own mind and strength to walk in the ways of your heart, and do not say, Who shall control me in my deeds? For Yahuwah shall surely punish your pride. Do not say, I have sinned, and what harm has befallen me? For Yahuwah is patient, he shall by no means let you go. Concerning atonement, do not be without reverence to add sin unto sin. And do not say, His kindness is great, he shall be appeased for the multitude of my sins. For kindness and wrath come from him, and his wrath rests upon sinners. Do not delay to turn to Yahuwah, and do not put off from day to day. For suddenly the wrath of Yahuwah shall come forth, and in your security you shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Do not lay your heart upon goods acquired unrighteously, for they shall not profit you in the day of calamity. Do not winnow with every wind, and do not go into every way. For so does the sinner that has a double tongue. Be steadfast in your understanding, and let your word be the same. Be swift to hear, and let your being be sincere. And give answer with patience. If you have understanding, answer your neighbor. If not, put your hand over your mouth. Esteem and shame is in speech, and the tongue of man is his downfall. Do not be a whisperer, and do not lie in wait with your tongue. For foul shame is upon the thief, and an evil condemnation upon the double-tongued. Do not be ignorant of any matter, great or small. Mm.